cross-platform restore, also as known as way to way virtualization to virtualization. On Wenchin version 6.5, cross-platform restore enables Wenchin users to migrate VMs among up to 10 different virtualizations supported by Wenchin backup and recovery, including VMware vSphere, ArchV, Overt, OLVM, Citrix hypervisor, formerly uh, Zen server, XPNG, OpenStack, Huawei Fusion Compute, H3C, and Sanfor HCI. Um, but for uh, Hyper-V, it's not supported yet, but we are working on this, and it, it will be supported soon by next year. Um, the working principle of uh, cross-platform restore is simple. Just connect both the uh, source virtualization platform and the target, so target virtualization platform to Wenchin and perform a backup from source virtual, virtualization and using the backups to create a restore job to the target virtualization. And Wenchin uh, will complete the cross-platform cross-platform restore process. Cross-platform restore is very help, helpful to those hybrid virtualization environments and those virtualization users who wants to um, migrate the production system from one virtualization to another. And next, let's take a look at some details of how cross-platform cross restore works. Cross-platform restore works with both full VM restore and instant VM restore. The cross-platform VM restore job creation process is the same as on version six. The only difference is that version uh, 6.5 enables select selection of different virtual platforms if you, you have uh, added them to Wenchin backup server. Uh, for users, this is very straightforward to use cross-platform restore feature. For Wenchin software, there are lots of work to be done in the background, which cannot be seen by the users. So here's a diagram showing the rest restore process for both cross-platform uh, cross for VM restore and instant VM restore. Let's see, we got uh, VM backup from virtualization A, now we are restoring it to virtualization B using full VM restore. Wenchin will convert the VM configurations from A to B and then create a new VM on B using the converted config configurations. After this, Wenchin will then convert the VM data to uh, restore the virtual disks on platform B. When all the data has been converted and restored to platform B, you are able to boot the VM on the new virtual platform. The cross-platform restore uh, then will be done. For instant uh, VM restore, Wenchin will first use the backup data to arrange an NFS storage within Wenchin backup server and mount the NFS storage to the virtual platform B and then cre create a VM using the converted VM configurations. At the same time, the VM virtual disks will be pointed to the NFS storage. This process uh, will only take like uh, 15 seconds, and now you are able to boot the instant restore VM. Within one minute, your VM and its services will be up running on a new virtual platform. And later on, during, uh, during the non-production hours, a maintenance window can be scheduled to migrate all the data to the new virtual platform. The cross-platform instant VM restore can be used to, um, in hybrid virtualization environments to guarantee the service continuity across different virtualizations. If you want to get to know and want to see how Wenchin cross-platform restore works, I will show you in the lab demo later on. Um, here we are looking at the home screen of uh, Wenchin backup and, re and uh, recovery. 
uh, version 6.5. And uh, for the first uh, feature I'm going to demonstrate is uh, cross-platform restore. So, so I'm going to use an existing backup from uh, uh, VMware, and I'm going to restore uh, the backup to, uh, to a, a word platform. Okay, and select the restore point. And here, select the, a word host. And then let's uh, submit this job creation and then manually start the job. Now, Wenqin is trying to use the uh, backup. Uh, actually, it's from uh, VMware using the backup data to uh, arrange uh, NFS storage. And this NFS storage will be mounted to the Avert platform. Because I'm running, uh, running this Wenqin backup server uh, as a virtual machine. So uh, the, the performance is not so good. And now the NFS storage is ready and it's now trying to create the uh, instant restore virtual machine. Let's take a look from the overt web console. Check the storage demands. And this one is for instant restore created by Wenqin backup server. And then let's take a look at the virtual machine list. Here's the instant restore uh, virtual machine. And let's see if it's ready to start up. Yes, it's ready. And the first I need to modify an option for me to be able to connect to the console. And okay, and let's run this virtual machine. Now, Avert will try to uh, start up this virtual machine, uh, which it, uh, which its uh, virtual disks are actually on Wenqin on Wenqin server. And then let's take a look from the console. Because of the backup server is a virtual machine, so the uh, disk IO is not so good and it might take a little while to Start up, start up the uh, instant restore virtual machine. But it will not take so long because uh, for the instant restore, um, overt platform will only load some uh, uh, required uh, data to be able to start this virtual machine and its services. Okay, we see the progress bar. Okay, almost there. Now it's up running and and I'm able to use the services in um, 
uh, within this uh, virtual machine. Actually, it's uh, originally from uh, Wimmer platform. We just performed a backup and now performed a restore to the overt platform. Now it's up running and you are able to access the services. But it's, uh, this is for um, emergency uh, re recovery uh, because the data is still inside the machine and we need to perform a migration job to migrate all the data back to uh, migrate all the data uh, from machine to avert to complete the whole uh, the whole migration cross-platform restore process and let's use the new image IO API and uh, The job tab has, has changed into migration and uh, it's now creating a new virtual machine for uh, migration. Uh, usually you, you don't have to uh, do the cross platform restore uh, this way. You can directly run a full VM cross platform restore. But in some emergency uh, situations, you want to uh, immediate, immediately run uh, a virtual machine backup, backup from, an, uh, from one virtual platform to another, you can use the instant restore uh, job. After, uh, uh, maybe during the non-production hours, and uh, you can perform a migration to migrate all the data to the, to the, to the new virtual platform to complete the whole cross-platform restore process. And uh, now it's transferring the, the backup data from uh, Wenqing to Overt. And for the migration uh, feature, it will take three steps to complete the migration. First, uh, the original backup data will be transferred to um, Overt and then it will migrate some cache data to the overt platform because and for instant restore, uh, the original backup data will be mounted uh, to overt platform using NFS in read-only uh, mode. The cache data will be written to a new uh, cache storage. And uh, so it can guarantee your original backup data is uh, unchanged by using the instant restore. So during the uh, runtime of the instant restore uh, VM, if, if I, I have generated any new data inside the instant restore uh, VM, after the migration, the new data will also be migrated to the new virtual platform. Okay, the migration is done and uh, the instant restore virtual machine is powered off and it's let me change the option for me to connect the console and then start the virtual machine and as at this time you are uh, you can just simply stop the instant restore job and the NFS storage and the instant restore virtual machine will be uh, deleted from the overt platform. As we, as we can see, the instant restore uh, storage is now knocked and will be deleted from the platform. And after this, the the instant restore virtual machine will be also deleted. Okay, it's already gone. And now let's take a look at the migrated virtual machine.
Okay, it's up running now. I'm not going to log in now. So that's the whole process of uh, uh, instant uh, cross-platform instant VM restore. Uh, as I just mentioned that you don't have to do this, you can just uh, directly perform a full VM cross-platform restore. This is just used for emergencies. 